Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Doug Walker, and we are smack dab in the middle of the Biloxi Block Party. Thousands and thousands of people, thousands and thousands of classic cars. You're about to meet a very special character here, but take a look at these guys. They have been having a great time. So, what? what Y'all enjoying this down here? Yes, yes, sir. How's the weather? Nice, beautiful. What do you think about the cars? Gorgeous. Nice. Now, most of these cars are older than you are. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Would you still like to have one? Oh, oh yeah. definitely. Yeah. All right, guys. Enjoy yourself. So, again, now I told you very special characters here. This character, you can't have cruising the coast in downtown Biloxi without Batman. Batman is here. How you doing, Batman? Good. Now, what, uh, what brings you to downtown Biloxi? All of the action. Uh, there's not enough of it in Gotham City? Uh, they sleep during the day. Okay. Now, uh, you have a car here, too. What? Tell me about the car. Uh, it's made out of four different cars. A little bit of a 70 Camaro and most of the drive trains out of a 76 Trans Am. So it's kind of morphed into what, you, what it's become today. Right. And I'm going to take a guess. It's called the Batmobile. It's called the Bat Fink. The Bat Fink. All right, now where do you hail from? Are you from the coast or from where? I've been on Gulfport for about 20 years. Oh, okay, so you're local. How do you like it cruising the coast? I love it. It gets bigger every year. Yeah, it certainly does. And speaking of bigger, I want to talk about that. Thank you, Batman. We appreciate it. And the beautiful car, Bat Fink. Now, what has changed this year in downtown Biloxi? It's gotten so big as we walk over this way. It's gotten so big that they actually started parking cars on the town green this year, something they've never done so they can handle the traffic. They parked on the town green before they started parking on the streets, but the streets are full, so is the town green. Just about every vacant lot in Biloxi is full as well. Look at these beautiful cars. This looks to be like a Chevelle, a 442 Chevelle right there. That obviously is a blue Mustang. This looks to be about a 1956 or 1957 Chevy Bel Air. This looks to be a Pontiac Cutlass right here and an old Chevrolet truck. And this is right at the corner of Jackson Street and Lemieux. So right now, right now, what you should do is look right in that camera right there and say, hey, Facebook Live. Hey, Facebook Live. All right, Jay, you did a great job. Have fun. All right. Now. Obviously, you can see City Hall right there. They have pulled out all the stops. One thing that people love to do is they like to sit in their lawn chairs right on the sides of Lemieux Street or MLK or Raynor or all the downtown Biloxi streets, and they like to look at the classic cars and take pictures of them. <coughs> now, who is this? Uh, Shashtin. And what are you doing here today? I'm looking for the cars on the cruising. Yes, we have good things. <laughs> now tell me, what do you like better, the classic cars or the chocolate muffin? Uh, the food, the food, and the classic car in Sweden. Okay, but the uh, food's pretty good too. Yes, very good. All right, well you have a great time at Closing yeah. the Coast. See those folks enjoying it right here. Now we're walking over here. You can see City Hall. One thing they do at the block party have. We don't have a car. You just come to look. We yeah. bought one before and then we sold it before. Well, there's nothing wrong with coming and looking. How do you like the coast and this weather? Pretty good, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, you guys have a good time. Thanks for uh, talking with us. By the way, look at the camera. Say, hey, Facebook Live. Hey, Facebook Live. All right, Facebook Live. Let's walk over here this way a little bit. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on here in downtown Biloxi. As I mentioned, you have the bands, you have the music, you have the vendors, you have all sorts of things going on. You even have people going for special causes. Now, I talked with this woman a little earlier today, and she's got a very special cause. So what's your name? <laughs> Kizzy Wells Daniels. And you are sitting here at the corner, and what are you trying to achieve here today? Um, we're doing a fundraiser for the local Raw Images dance team. And this is uh, some of the dancers, right? Yes. Now, I think that's your daughter, right? Yes, it is. Deja Daniels and Destiny Daniels. So now where are they trying to go? Um, we have a competition in Meridian, but we do different competitions around uh, the, local, the different areas. We may go anywhere from five to six hours. Have any luck so far? Are people taking uh, interest in it? Yes, uh, yes, yes. All right, so well, we good luck. Uh, good luck with the fundraising. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you now. Let's walk over here. Now, as you know... There are a lot of people who are from out of town. 
and they actually have these Biloxi t-shirts right here. And some of them actually say the pronunciation, Biloxi, Cruising Biloxi Stingray. So this is one of the very many booths that are down here, selling goods and wares. <coughs> now, as far as the economic impact of cruising the coast, $26 million. I'm not kidding you, $26 million. That's the latest economic impact statement that Woody Bailey and his crew at Cruising the Coast instituted and commissioned last year. And there are tons of reasons to come on down here. And if you don't believe about the $26 million figure, take a look at this. I interviewed a gentleman yesterday who brings about 200 people down from Jackson. And they spent $30,000, $30,000 on hotels alone at the Courtyard Marriott in Gulfport. Now we're moving into a little bit of shade right here, and you can still see some of these classic cars. Now one thing that everybody's got, one thing that everybody's got, they've got these camera phones out. Yes. She's taking video, she's taking pictures, everyone's got a smartphone out. What's your name? JD. And say hello to Facebook Live. Hi, Facebook Live. So how many pictures have you taken? I think I have 1,200 right now, but we've been hitting all the Cruise in the Coast events the whole week long. So I'm sure by the end of this weekend, my phone storage is probably going to be non-existent. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. So uh, when do you buy a SD card or have to send it to the cloud? No, I have to send it to the cloud. So every night we've been coming to one of these sessions, and every night I go in and I upload it all to the cloud. <laughs> and you know how to do that? No, I have my husband do that. So are you afraid that once they go in the cloud, they'll, like, disappear? Electronics don't like me, so I leave all that to him. All right, well, listen, thanks for joining us on Facebook Live, and good luck with the picture taken. Thank you very much. All right. Let's walk down this way. Now, if we look over here, this is City Hall, and you can see City Hall is extremely crowded with a bunch of people, and they're waving. There's one guy right there who actually waved at us. Since he was kind enough to wave at us, we're going to go actually talk to him. He better talk to me since he waved at me. What's your name? Wayne Walls. Where are you from, Wayne? Uh, Caldwell, Texas, near Lake Somerville. And uh, how are things in Texas these days? Kind of hot. Were you uh, impacted by the flooding at all, or were you okay? No, I wasn't impacted, but it flooded a lot around there. Now, what do you like about Biloxi? Oh, it's just a wonderful car show, wonderful car show. And uh, how many years have you been coming here? About five or six. Uh, have you ever heard of Facebook Live? Facebook Live? I would take that as a no, then. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you're on uh, Facebook Live, you know. Okay, cool. Camera. It's on Facebook, and you're live. That's why they call it Facebook Live. Cool. So anyway, have a good time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now look at all these people. Look, uh, come on, 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 wave. There we go. Okay, there we go. Here's someone right here. Here's a friend tapping on the shoulder. Going to shake my hand. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Let's walk on down this way. Now, one thing you really can't see a very good picture of, but those buildings down there with the porches, those are businesses, the Sideways Sports Club, the Half Shell Oyster House. I mentioned about that economic impact, and it is spectacular, $26 million. I was actually here about 5.30 this morning, and the Halfway Oyster House, Half Shell Oyster House, actually opened up at 5.30 to serve the cruisers who were busy parking their cars and they were doing a booming business, including from me. I bought a nice cup of coffee from them. Let's walk down this way a little bit. Now, one thing that Cruise the Coast always does is promote the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And right here is a booth sponsored by the Biloxi Chamber of Commerce. So in addition to all these thousands of people who come here from across the country, even Canada, even Germany, even Puerto Rico, the Chamber of Commerce wants to get the word out about what we have to offer here on the coast. And they're doing that with popcorn. So what's your name? My name is Tina Ross Siemens. I'm the executive director of the Biloxi Bay Area Chamber of Commerce. And what do you have in your hand? I have popcorn. We're and popcorn. Are, you giving that, are you giving that away? Uh, well, we're selling it for a dollar, but I'm giving this one to the chief's driver over here because he wanted some popcorn. Uh, are you charging him? No. Charge him too. No, we're going to give him some free popcorn because they do a great job of protecting us. All right, now, so this booth is here. You've got thousands and thousands of people here. What do you try to do to get the word out about Biloxi and what we have to offer? 
Facebook, our website, our email blasts that go out to our members. We just try to invite everybody down here to have a good time with cruising the coast. Do the cruisers come up to you and ask about Biloxi, that's history and that thing? They want to know everything about Biloxi. Um, they want to know places to go eat, other things to go do and see besides the cars. Um, they love it here. They love the hospitality, the friendliness of the people, the seafood. Well, you know what we're having today, what they call this, don't you? The block party. They call this chain. Look at the sky. It is much. Again, charge that guy double for the popcorn. Let's walk over this way and look at some of these people as they admire these cars. Again, that looks like some kind of an old Chevrolet right here. Again, remember when I talked about pictures and people taking pictures? There's a woman with her camera right there. She's running away from me. She's actually trying to run away. She looks like she's scared. Are you scared? Have you ever been on Facebook Live before? No. Do you know what Facebook Live is? No. Okay, Facebook Live is this little thing called... The real pro at that, what's your name? Sharon McMillan. Where are you from, Sharon? Spring, Texas. Spring, Texas. How are, you, how are things in Texas? Right now, they're doing better than they were a month ago. Were you impacted by the flood end, Sharon? A little bit. Well, I'm glad you're doing okay. How do you like Biloxi? Love Biloxi. How many, how many pictures have you taken on your phone? I don't know yet. Enough to where it says I can't take anymore. That means you're out of storage. I uh, know. You know but what storage is, right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too technical savvy, but you know. No, but you pull it off well. well we're having a good she's time. She's from Texas, and she's having a great time. I'm having a great time. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Have a good day. All right, let's walk over here. That looks to be a Chevelle. This guy's admiring it. Some of these cruisers even have their stories. Look at this. He actually has a newspaper article right there, and he talks about the history of this car. So they all have a story about what they've done to restore, and believe me, it's not an inexpensive hobby. It literally costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but they all have a great time doing it. All right, let's walk down here a little bit ways. Now you can turn around and you can actually see the stage over there and they're waving at us right there. There's George Lawrence. That's George Lawrence. He is a Biloxi City Councilman. Love it. So uh, are you trolling for votes out here today? Uh, yeah, always trolling. Down. Always. In the coast. What, what does it do for the city? What it does for the city and impact for the coast is unbelievable. It's an awesome thing. I mean, can you this year was they parked people at the town green something they haven't done in the past simply because it's gotten so big that they were running out of room on the streets and so they are starting to park them at the town green every lot in biloxi has been taken up by these cruisers and look at these cars i mean you can't get any better than this there's a 442 engine in that one believe me that baby can move and of course if you want music got plenty of music you can maybe hear in the background the Commodores brick house from 1977 how's that for some musical knowledge of me look at this car right here I think I think it's a Corvette I'm not sure let me look at some edition they are thinking by the time it's all said and done by the end of this Sunday they will have more than 8,000 100 registered cars which would be a record breaker and by the way that doesn't include the cars that just show up and don't register and believe me there are plenty of those cruise on the coast is a one-of-a-kind event now some people may wonder what happened how was cruising the coast born 21 years ago well the simple answer is this some folks here on the Gulf Coast talked about trying to come up with something in a slow time of the year, October. So they created Cruise on the Coast. And it was very, very small at first. And then it grew, and it grew, and it grew to what it's become today. A huge economic powerhouse for the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Let's take a look at this car. Look at the carburetor on that thing. That is a big carburetor, Pawpaw. 
And I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of these cars, these SS Chevelles. That's another one right there. We're seeing a lot of SS Chevelles. Pretty neat stuff. I mentioned the businesses doing a booming business. Take a look up there. That's Sideways Sports Bar and Grill. And at the very core of the building, a lot of these businesses up here have the same thing. Welcome. They're doing everything they can to attract these cruisers, and the cruisers are responding in kind. If we turn around here real quick, we'll see just another welcome cruiser sign. Those signs are everywhere. This is another business right here. You can see just how packed it is. As we start walking this way again, we're going to have to end this here in just a little bit because we actually have to do a little television stuff too for our midday show at 11 o'clock. But anyway, the bottom line is if you've never seen Cruise in the Coast, if you're here locally, you want to come down. You want to see it. Today is Wednesday. We still have Thursday. We still have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One of the big venues is Ocean Springs, which kicks off on Thursday and runs through the weekend. Cruise in the Coast, something very special, something very unique, something you don't want to miss. And it's great for not only the out-of-towners who come here from across the world, literally across the world. We have a cruiser here from Australia, but for all the locals as well, from Pass Christiane to Waveland to Moss Point to Bay St. Louis to Pascagoula. If you haven't ever seen Cruise in the Coast, if you haven't partaken of it, had the fun that I'm having today, having the fun that all these people are having, something you definitely want to check out. And thanks for joining us on Facebook Live. I'm Doug Walker for WLOX News Now. We came all the way from Florida, Naples. All right, well, congratulations. Hey,